What's up guys, it's Jeffrey with GNC Adventures and today we're bringing you guys a review of the Mud Skipper Long Tail Mud Motor Kit. This is the two-piece shaft kit for motors from three to seven horsepower. So starting at the prop end over here, you see we have the brass prop nut with a lock washer to make sure that it doesn't vibrate loose. This kit comes with two weedless props, two aluminum weedless props, a six and a half and a six and a quarter. Right now I am running the six and a half. Moving forward, you have the standard bushing and skeg, uh, fairly standard for these kits. Now moving up, you'll see that we have this contraption here. Once again, this is a two-piece shaft. So you have the lower and the upper slide into each other with a bolt. Uh, this end is threaded, so that is what tightens the uh, upper to the lower. And then you have a nut to keep it uh, secure so it doesn't vibrate loose. Well, moving up the shaft, we have two T-bolts to keep everything secure. Uh, on this uh, sturdy flange here. Now, probably my favorite part about the CKS Mud Skipper Kit is this. This is uh, an automatic grease uh, feeder. If I go ahead and unthread this real quick, you'll see there's a spot for you to put grease. Now, as you see, I have this pumped pretty full of grease. Out of the box, there's a little hole in the bottom of this, and I did not think that it, this would gravity feed. I'm not gonna lie. However, it ended up working very well. I could see the grease seeping down before I installed it. So this is actually a very neat system that Mud Skipper has decided to incorporate into their mud motor kits. Moving down to the brackets, you see we have a fairly standard transom mount here. Uh, but if you notice, it has threaded nuts welded on either side. This is a great feature of the CKS kit because it allows you to thread these T-bolts on either side. This allows you to really fine tune the placement of the motor for your preferred balance. These T-bolts, as you see, have a uh, washer uh, to distribute that load on your transom, uh, as well as very importantly, they have a set screw, which allows you to really crank this thing down here, and that way you know it is not gonna come loose on you, especially since these mud motors vibrate a lot. As you see here, we have the engine mounting plate um, and its connection to the transom clamp. Uh, nothing too fancy here. As you see, we have a grease fitting uh, and two holes where you can input grease to keep everything running nice. This kit has mounting brackets for the handle on either side, so you can put it on whichever side you prefer. So as you can see, this Mud Skipper kit comes with a straight handle. Uh, some other kits come with a Z handle, comes out, up at an angle, and then straightens out once again. Now, this is just a matter of preference. The Z handles allow you to operate the motor while standing, uh, and the straight handles make it easier to operate while sitting. Personally, I have this on a 12 foot John boat. It's a very small boat, so I like operating while sitting. That is why I prefer the straight handle. Perhaps one of the most controversial parts of this kit is this throttle lever right here. This is a thumb style throttle lever, and it stays. Now, the reason why this is so controversial is because a lot of people prefer the bicycle grip handle. However, I actually have a bicycle grip handle that I was going to use, um, but at the last second I decided, you know what, I'm going to give this thumb throttle a shot. I tell you what, people, I will never go back. I used to think that that uh, brake lever style handle uh, was so much better. However, upon using this, I'm telling you, once you go to the thumb throttle, you won't go back. Having the luxury of being able to set your throttle and not having to worry about it is a very nice luxury to have. Especially on a boat, if you let off the throttle, it doesn't just coast. It launches everyone forward. Having a throttle that stays exactly where you want it is a must have. Next, as you can see, we have a kill switch. This kill switch is one of the best that I have seen. And that is simply because of this button. I've seen plenty of mud motor kits with kill switches with the lanyard, which is very important. However, simply having a lanyard as well as a simple button is a very handy thing to have. As you see, I've wrapped the kill switch wiring around the handle, zip tied it there to keep it secure. Uh, and as you see, there's two wires coming out of it. And that is uh, this red wire and this green wire. What I have done is I have disabled the oil sensor simply by taking the oil sensor 
wire, disconnecting it. Now, here, there is usually a little magic box. So this plugs into the box, and then the box plugs in to these wires here. Mudskipper has made it very easy, and they've included the correct connector in the box already installed. So all you have to do is connect one side to these wires and the other side to any grounding surface. Now that you've seen all the features of the Mud Skipper kit, let's go take it for a ride and see how it works. All right, guys, we're out here in the beautiful Florida Everglades with our Predator 212 and our Mud Skipper tie long tail kit. Let's start it up, see how she runs. To start it, all you gotta do is plug in your lanyard that comes included in your kit and give her a pull. Let's go.